Welcome back to the Park Wizard, and today I'm going to start a new <laughs> series to get us through quarantine. Um, this is going to be some fun facts about rides, and we're going to do a start off with a whole bunch of Disney rides, because lots of Disney rides are still around, and they're still historic, especially at Disneyland Park. Um, other part, theme parks tear their attractions down a lot, but Disney keeps them, um, keep them refreshed. And we're going to start today with a super, super classic. It hurts everyone's back, but it's still a fan favorite and one of my favorites. And that's the Matterhorn. No. No. The Matterhorn Mountains is an exclusive to Disneyland Park, which is why it's awesome. It can, can't be found anywhere else. It's a complete exclusive to Disneyland Park. And it was built in 1959, making this attraction over 60 years old. In fact, this attraction opened um, together with the monorail and Finding or not finding the name, but the submarines and the monorail um, they opened all together as big as a big Tomorrowland expansion, and they were actually the first three. That's right, first three e-tickets ever produced at Disneyland Resort. That they had uh, named A B C A B C and D tickets, but the e-ticket is an amazing expanse, most expensive ticket out there, and. <laughs> The Mad Horn was that. It's also the first Disney's first thrill rider, Disneyland. Some other great facts about the Mad Horn is, as you can see here, they have climbers. Occasionally, climbers will climb up the Mad Horn um, one by one in groups of like five, just like that, and they'll climb all the way to the top. And they'll, as you see, have some live entertainment and do some nice rock climbing. It's super super cool and when they get up there there's a break room it's about eight stories high uh, there's a break room and they get to play basketball there's a basketball hoop in that Blake break room as confirmed in the, the, the imagining story on Disney plus it's not a full-on imagine or uh, basketball court even half court basketball court but it it's just uh it is just a hoop but it's better than nothing and it's for them to pass the time um, when they have to go up and between up and down the mountain, as well as for uh, Tinkerbell and um, some other characters that fly from the mountain and fly in the air during Disneyland's fireworks shows. For those of you who are kind of younger, you may not know this, but older people might, Disneyland used to have a skyway. The skyway used to go right through the Matterhorn. It went from Tomorrowland to Fantasyland, and there's the footage of again some climbers. Uh, um, the skyway uh, started near the monorail, going all the way through the icy slopes of the Matterhorn. And when you go through the Matterhorn, you'd hear the the winds would howl because it's a, a tunnel. And as you see, there's there's two big gaping holes there. But during several refurbishments, the even when the sky was still in operation, they added icy caves and made it seem like you're going. Uh, obviously, it's a more themed experience. And then eventually, the, the Disney took out the Skyway and filled in the holes, the Matterhorn, which you can't see them now. And the last of the Skyway chalets actually went or got demolished in 2016 in preparation for Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is now open on the north side of Disneyland Park. And going on to continue some awesome, some more very interesting facts about the Matterhorn. The actual mountain is 147 feet tall, or Disney's recreation version is 147 feet tall, which is exactly 100 times shorter than the actual mountain in Switzerland, which is 14,700 feet tall, which is absolutely incredible. The minute to detail that they got there, the minute details they got there. The ride portion of the uh, mountain is tops out at 80 feet and goes 27 miles per hour. But they're not exactly the same ride experience as the, um, the right side is 2,037 feet along for track and the left side is 2134 feet um of track no, i'm actually just kidding it's 
opposite right side is longer than the left side. Right side is um, 2037 feet. Left side is, sorry, 2134 feet for the right side, 2037 feet for the, the left side. And that um, these two riding speeds of about 20 seconds fast, it's a 20 second um faster experience for the left side you'll be right, left side is about two minutes and six seconds the right side is about two minutes and 27 seconds so it's actually much or not much but a, a significantly longer ride time compared to um since they're supposed to be dueling racing coasters also for the original matter mountain 800 gallons the paint was used to mimic the original icy slopes of the Matterhorn um, and to make it look just like the real mountain in Switzerland, which is absolutely incredible. Again, 1959, it's just incredible. This is the most, uh, very de definitely the most detailed coaster of, um, of its time. And lastly, and probably one of the most important facts, um, not the most important, it was the first tubular steel coaster in the world. As you can see in the video here by LMG Vids, this POV, the, the track is, they're tubes, it's steel, but they're shaped like cylinders or tubes. And that's incredibly important, because not only did that pave the way for other Disney rides like Thunder Mountain and Space Mountain, but it paved the way for major roller coasters built by Aero Development, Aero Development, by the way, which built coasters such as Viper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This technology then paved the way for just about every single other roller coaster that's non-wooden or non-RMC in the world, including, again, Six Flags Magic Mountains, just about all other coasters, um, X2, uh, Viper, Not Spray Farms, Hang Time, all stuff like that and it's absolutely incredible and cannot be understated that's super important that um this coaster was able basically pave the way for all the major thrill coasters in the world so that's it for the madhorn and it's fun facts if you like them <laughs> please subscribe look for more theme park fun facts and ride fun facts and what's your favorite fact of the Matterhorn? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, have a fantastic day.